Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday, a great President's Day. And I got to say, shout out to my buddy, Greg. Greg, uh, let me know. I miss this. I miss this. I've been on the road. You, you know my life is busy, y'all. Um, I wish I could say that I should spend full attention to the Dallas Cowboys in the media storm that is covering the Dallas Cowboys. But I do have, you know, I got other responsibilities and things that I have to take care of, you know, putting food on the table, not not that it looks like I've missed too many meals or anything, uh, but taking care of business and everything else and stuff. So, you know, between getting down here, taking care of problems at my own house and stuff, I miss this. But Jimmy Johnson has announced, you know, the greatest thing is Jimmy Johnson, maybe it was too late for the season to make a major effect, but Jimmy Johnson is back in the fall with the Cowboys, finally getting the credit that he deserves and some love between Jimmy and Jerry Jones. And so we've heard from all of the Cowboys greats about how they're disappointed on how this team played. And everybody's got their take on what they need to do. Now, the thing that I look at with Jimmy Johnson is he is truly a wealth of knowledge. He has probably forgotten more football than Mike McCarthy's ever known. That's how much knowledge he has. And he is a master motivator. And he is truly in the fold with the Cowboys with a big announcement today. But let me remind you the personality that Jimmy Johnson is, even though he hasn't coached the Cowboys since 1994. Well, first of all, I, I can't say what I would say now on television. <laughs> but I'll just say this. Every single one of you, you know how hard we've worked. I don't need to have people pointing the fingers one thing or another. Mm -hmm. You get your rear end in there and you play the way you know how to play. We can win the game. We're going to open it up. We're going to go fast tempo. Defense, get after Jordan Love. You can't give him that much time. You do what you're supposed to do, we'll win this game. <laughs> All right. That's that oh, Michael baby. fight. He's got everybody no, fight. No, no, Mike. No. no. Let me get no. in front of you. Me first, you, Ryan. No. No. <laughs> I could not agree That's more. Embarrassing. You cannot That's play this game uptight. No. I'll tell you, you get tunnel vision. Michael and I were talking about you can't see anything. You got to relax. You got to trust yourself and respond to everything that's happening. You get the ball the second half, right off the bat. Down the field we go. Now it's 27 14. And here's the thing all of a sudden, the young team, the Grimdad Packers, saying, Whoa, just a minute here. Get them on edge right now. They, they're having their way. I go back to yesterday's Houston game. That was a shocker. No more so than what I'm seeing right now. No, Okay, so here's what I would love to see. <laughs> not, not Jordan Love, but I would love to see. Now, now th let, let's go into this because what's happened is Jimmy Johnson announced on a, a Miami radio station um, that he is on the advisory board of the Cowboys. Now, we know that the Cowboys have always had former players, guys like Charles Haley and different coaches like Lou Holtz and things like that that have been people that Jerry Jones has talked to, of course, with Jimmy Johnson and him, you know, the original breakup, that's a wealth of knowledge that Jerry Jones has not used. Um, but since, of course, the Ring of Honor, um, he said on Joe Rose on WQAM 560 AM, everything is hunky-dory now. Hunky now. I'm back in the fold with the Cowboys. Um Great, but what about this? Uh, let's see, wait, wait, I'm trying to get the other quote from him. Um, we were talking on the phone for about an hour after the Green Bay playoff loss, and he was talking about what we needed to do, Jimmy said, because he had a big decision on Mike McCarthy and Dan Quinn and Dak Prescott, meaning Jerry asked Jimmy, advised, and the new board of the member was added. So I love this because... Too many times. If, if, um, uh, now, if this is real, if this is real that he's actually going to listen to Jimmy Johnson, this is huge news because Jimmy Johnson was the architect of the guy who put this thing together. Okay? 
Now, let's be clear here. I want to be clear here. Jerry does not win those Super Bowls without Jimmy Johnson. And let me be even clearer. Jimmy Johnson does not win those Super Bowls without Jerry Jones. They were the right to, uh, group together. Jerry Jones trying to save the business end that was losing $2 million a month. Jimmy Johnson, a guy who identified talent and knew how to motivate him. Because, see, here's the kind of thing. Here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? D-Law saying something like, we were tired. We were tired. Come on, guys. Jimmy Johnson quoted Patton. George S. Patton, General, General George S. Patton, one of the hardest hitting generals in World War II. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. When you're tired, you make mistakes. When you saw that motivational speech right there from a guy who has not coached in 20 years, you see the fire and the passion. We're talking about the same Jimmy Johnson who had a kicker who was asthmatic and couldn't run. And he told him, take your asthmatic ass over on that other field and proceeded to cut him. Jimmy Johnson wouldn't take any shit or mistakes. Sam Williams, you, you, what, you know, all these unnecessary roughness penalties, sit your ass on the bench. You didn't want to come off that field if you fucked up. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. My, 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 my apologies. Accountability. In shape. Having fun. That's what Jimmy Johnson, not being the best friend. He, and, and I will say that he became your best friend because what he got out of you. He wasn't your best friend just to be your best friend. He's going to work your ass off. But the rewards are greatness. So if Jerry Jones has woken up and realized I need that guy, it's great news for the Cowboys. It is incredible news for the Dallas Cowboys. And um, I want to say thank you, my buddy, um, Greg, for letting me know about this because this is exactly what the Cowboys need. When you've heard so many people talking about culture, you know, and, and things and changes that need, um, I just hope that Jimmy Johnson gets to be ass kicker, ass kicker in chief. That they're just going to use him like a pit bull. Just put him on the sidelines and, t and just, 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 ah, I'm serious. Put the fear of God in him. So we'll definitely be talking about this a lot on our live stream coming up at 9 o'clock Eastern. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And one more time. Say now on television. <laughs> but I'll just say this. Every single one of you, you know how hard we've worked. I don't need to have people pointing the fingers one thing or another. You get your rear end in there and you play the way you know how to play. We can win the game. We're going to open it up. We're going to go fast tempo. Defense, get after Jordan Love. You can't give him that much time. You do what you're supposed to do. We'll win this game. All right. That's got Michael fired. He's got everybody fired.